they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frown. Can't hop out, then we clear on the Hey guys, we got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. J Hound in the spot. Sweepers. <laughs> So what what makes define a sweeper? Like what are the characteristics of a sweeper? Like what do all y'all got? Like what's the what we you gotta all, have to be a sweeper? We all nice at rapping. You gotta be nice at rapping. So you gotta be nice to be yeah. in a gotta okay. be nice. You feel me? You gotta have dreads. That's all. That's a fact. My shit's getting hangy. Okay. <laughs> all right. So how you got into music? Um. I don't even know. Nah. I just made a song one day with my means. Because they was rapping for fun like mm -hmm. a few years ago. And I just made a song with him. And they felt like I was saying shit. They okay. felt like I was nice. Did you feel like you were saying shit? Or you felt like you got better? I felt like I got better. <laughs> way better. But for me, they thought I was nice back then. So I Do just kept going. you bump your old shit, though? Nah, I ain't going to lie. A lot of my old shit, I don't even got it. Because uh, you recorded everywhere, or because you ain't kidding? It, it's just mad. Oh, I got old shit as in like a year ago and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But before that, I don't got that yet. I don't know what I should have. So you've been to the sweepers? Yeah. Like all of them? So y'all all grew up together type shit? Yeah, we all came from the same neighborhood. Type shit. But you say you've been known in like school and stuff. Yeah, that's a fact. Like. So like, was you the class clown? Did you have Nah, I just was like, cool. Was the, like, I mean, people fuck with cool me. You were cool nigga? You were yeah, like, like it what? Was, nah. <laughs> Nah, nah, even it just, it's always those kids that just, in school, everybody it's fuck everybody. with me. So you was doing your work in school, though? But yeah, I always got my work done. All right, so, first of all, you was mad hard to find on Instagram. I'm glad you changed your ad name. The real J-Ham. Was there a reason you changed your ad name? Because people couldn't find you, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I was like, wait, what? Okay, so you went to the, so when you first went to the studio, that, you was in high school? Type shit? Or yeah, that's a fact. High school. High school type shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when did you start going like I'm about to spend my money and go to the stool? Cause you know like um, you was going with your friends, so like when did you make it a career? It's 2023, like like the end of 2021. Okay. I would say end of 2021, you probably started really rapping, going to stools, making tracks, real tracks to shoot and shit, like to shoot videos and shit. Okay. And how was your family feeling? Or they found out, like, later, later? They found out when you was lit already? Or they, they sold found you out right after, like, Nikki. Okay. For me, like, that before was, like, that, nah, I mean, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like, me personally, I feel like my mom and shit been knew I was rapping. She just never brought it up. Okay. But, like, after, like, Nikki and shit, it was like, it was so no was way she couldn't. Oh, it was like, it was no way she couldn't bring it up. Okay. For me. So, after Nikki, was you showing her your music? Or, like, if she heard it, she heard it? I, other people were showing her my music. <laughs> Other people was coming up to her, bringing me up. Her friends would tell her. Her friends would tell her that that um her kids look up to me and shit like that. Mm. Okay, so did you ever start playing her your music or like? She nah, I never really played her my music. But like why? Cause you feel like it's not. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> that's not what she want to listen to. But for me, she is support me. But that's not her music. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. All right, so getting into the studio, y'all, I feel like y'all got y'all sound down pack right now. Y'all show mad love to y'all producer. How y'all met him? Like, how that connected? It's another person from our block. Or, oh, he from your block? Or generated from one block. Oh, wow. Okay. Or, so was y'all in the studio just trying shit? Or like, nah, my son, him personally, he just, nah, he, he was fake rapping too. <laughs> like, my first song was with my producer. Oh, wow. My very, very first song. But then out of nowhere, like, I guess he just wanted to start it producing. producing. I mean, he did his thing. He started making peace and shit. Okay. So it's like, so now that y'all lit, do you feel like everybody around you now is trying to rap? Yeah, I feel like I feel like more people around me now is trying to like do a little music and shit. But I jack it, though, because for me. You jack all of it? Yeah, I'm jacking all of, all of that because for me. So we open the doors for them. More money for all of us. Why Do you not? feel like if somebody wasn't good, you would tell them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I let niggas know. And especially if you were my me and saying, well, yeah, not this. Let them know it's not working out? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. All right, so y'all be making it clear, like, y'all from Douglas, y'all not from Harlem, you know? So, like, what is it that, like... I feel like Harlem, we remember them for the drip, for their charisma. What do y'all you, you, want people to remember y'all for? 
this dark the jersey sound. shit. This shit that we stamp, this this sound that everybody doing now. This our shit. And I want everybody to for me remember that this is our shit. That we started this. <laughs> Type shit. Okay. So before you were saying that like you had never been on a plane before. I think you said that a couple months ago. But yeah. now you done been to Cali, Miami, everywhere. Yeah, I've been on a few flights. <laughs> so how you feeling traveling? What's it like out traveling? That shit valley. I ain't gonna lie, I like traveling now, like I like leaving and shit. You like leaving the town? Yeah, I don't like being here. Favorite place, Miami or Cali? <clears throat> or you been somewhere else? Um, nah, but out of those two, out of those two, because Miami, lie. you had a time you broke your phone, all types of shit. It, I ain't gonna lie, I was Jack in Miami, <laughs> but I got, I feel like I got more resources in Cali. But Cali pain too, like I had a good time in Cali too. Okay. But I feel like it's just more people go to Miami. People so. say Cali's good for work. And yeah, Miami's for fun. Yeah, people. I was about to say like more people go to Miami to chill and shit. So yeah, so you just chilling with mad different vibes and shit. Mm. Um. Okay. So being going up right now, what do you feel like is the best part so far? Um. My fan base growing. Growing. Yeah, like I peep it growing. I peep people like people just be knowing me outside. We <laughs> want pictures. I feel like that's the best part of everything right now. It be kids, or it be all ages. It be or? kids, it be people my age. Type shit. Gangsta. Yeah. Um, so what's the worst part? You feel like? With all this new attention. The worst part is the haters. The 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 new people that just don't like us on mm-hmm. some weird shit for no reason. Cause we going up. Yeah. That should be crazy. I definitely be hearing y'all name a lot more. Yeah, now. that shit crazy. Yeah. Do you listen to the diss tracks about you or not? Nah, I probably hear it like because somebody sent it to me. Not the whole song. Probably like something on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I probably hear it. Mm-hmm. But I don't go listen to them shits. Them shit, I don't pay them shits no more. I'll be getting tight. So you don't listen to respond. You just kind of like just see what the vibes is. You don't care to yeah, respond. I don't, yeah, I don't. That should be getting me tight, bro. Niggas be really be trying to get little for us. So for me, that should be making me mad. I don't go listen to diss tracks and shit. Yeah, I mean, I think the only one, I, the last one I seen where they actually say your name was Blackwork. I don't know. I was about to say, ain't y'all old from like Manhattan? Couldn't that be like? I don't know where he from, but I'm from. <laughs> there's no where I'm from. Type shit. Okay, so did you see Crooklyn List? Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> and you was number 11. That us? Yeah. It was Dito, Sama, S. Kyle, Kenzo, Emro, E.K., Duty Low, Shaji, Tata, Bloody You, and then T.G. Oh, shit. It's a lot of... Nah, that's crazy. It's a lot of niggas that's not better than me. That's before me. <laughs> How many? It's a few. <laughs> more than three? It's it's more than three. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't about to do that. But for me though, that's crazy. Number eleven is crazy, but I feel yeah. like I proved myself. Okay. I don't even want to loot it though. I spoke to Crooklyn. Matter of fact. Okay. So y'all good. So you and Crooklyn good. <laughs> Why you, you, I don't even want to loot it, bro. I spoke to Crooklyn. That's Brody right there. Crooklyn, bro, but you feel like you should be higher. I am. Like 100%. In your eyes or in Crooklyn? In his eyes. Okay. So he copped it on the phone. <laughs> type shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice to know, Crooklyn. You want to stand on your shit. That's crazy. Nah, I ain't say that though. For me, though. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. All right. So, um, so yeah, that list went fake viral or whatever. Um, What do you feel like makes a good artist? You got to be what the people want to hear. Even if certain people think you what, if your fan base is higher than a lot of others, mm-hmm. and a lot of more people like hearing your music than others, then that makes you a good artist. Like, I don't, it's not specific shit that make people a good artist. Okay. Everybody rap different. Everybody right. got different techniques. And so certain you, people go up. Not everybody go up, though. Certain mm-hmm. people go up. So you feel like a nigga could go up if he's not lyrical, catchy. yeah, like, like some niggas gotta, just be catchy. Yeah, like you just people just gotta like how you sound. It could be catchy, you blowing up, you not even saying nothing. Type shit, it just be a vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you feel like is your best verse? Because on TikTok, it's controversy on what your best verse is. Some people, say, I don't know. I got a lot of unreleased, so I don't know. Like, so out of the ones that's out though, because people say spin back is your best verse. What's been, oh yeah, I was about to say that. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the mic performance. Time. Yeah, I was bugging on that. I feel like that's fake my best verse. But too. I feel like 150 is better. Nah, I feel like 150, I was just flowing with it more. Like, but I feel like 
spin back i was talking it's i know it's more shit i just can't think right now spin back i was talking though that's pain yeah that's what they saying on tiktok they saying that that's your best verse i'm jacking out so do you be on tiktok type shit type here shit. and there i try to be on it a little more mm-hmm. i'll be on it here and there though yeah so you know the uk guy god's will he do mm-hmm. shit and shit so he ranked you as his number one favorite sweeper are you surprised by that or do you feel like Nah, my son, my son, been, I, yeah, I've been, be, I've been peeping him doing videos and shit. Uh-huh. And I'm not surprised. He really jacked us for me. Yeah, he do. Me. And out of your crew, do you feel like you're the funniest? I don't know. I go viral a lot. Yes, you do. And I feel like you're about to go viral with the snacks because they always got you with some snacks. It'd be by accident. <laughs> I just be hungry. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My guys is funny though. They be having me crying. No, they definitely do. They definitely call you the funniest one. No cap. All right, so and when y'all was first coming out though, people used to say y'all always sounded like. Did you feel like you have to work on sounding differently or you feel like you always sounded differently? Or what do you nah, think? Nah, I feel like I stuck to what I was doing. Right. I feel like I, I, I never tried not even felt like I could like personally tell y'all I never tried yet to change the way I rap. So like mm-hmm. from jump when we first started blowing up I, I, I stayed you just stuck to what you yeah, know. Yeah, for me. So if we sound different now to people, then I mean they it was just saying people. shit before. Okay. Yeah. I think um y'all doing separate tracks makes it Showed them, it. yeah. Yeah. yeah cuz when it was all three y'all, I guess it was hard to tell. Mm-hmm. Um Who's your favorite artist at this moment? Like industry wise? Anybody? I like Lil Dirk. Okay. I know you said you want to lock in with Lil Dirk. Yeah, he got to tap in. Okay. Does him locking in with Didi Osama bother you anyway? Nah, it's business. It's I'll business. never stop money. Keep yeah, because y'all stand on business too type shit. I That's feel a like fact. I said that. Anybody get up in the way of money is haters and those the ops. Okay. What is it about Lil Dirk that you like though? My son relate to a lot of shit that me... Mm-hmm that I could relate to, you feel me? And then I like the way he put his music. I like the way it sound. So I jack my son. So you've been listening to Dirk for a couple years now? Yeah, that's a fact. I ain't gonna say mad long, but I've been listening for a while. Okay. So do you feel like you gotta be in the mood to listen to him or you got songs that like- Nah, like I fake only listen to Dirk, not even on no crazy shit. I fake don't really listen to a lot of other people, I ain't gonna lie. Really? Yeah. I don't know a lot of songs by other people. I just fake listen to Dirt. Besides y'all, y'all be like Gangsta. Okay. And whatever happened with the tape? Is the tape even coming? Like, what's happening? Yeah, that's, that? that's still in the making. That's still in the making? The tape just only going to get better and better. That's what it is. So y'all getting better? So y'all keep changing songs? Mm, we be updating it. That tape is coming real soon to watch. Real okay. Soon. Any um, confirmed features? Or they just got to wait on it? Nah, they going to see. There's some features on there. Okay. Pain so features. The, so the old track list is done. It's a whole new, whole new track. It's a new track list. <laughs> okay. They gonna be, they gonna be excited with this track list though. Like they gonna like okay. it better than the old. Is there any out of town artists? Or on the tape? Uh huh. Nah, to be continued. Okay. Any girls? To be continued. Are you gonna lock in with some females? That's a fact. Who's on your list right now to lock in with? I don't know. I like. I just feel like I don't really have no specific female I want to lock in with. I just feel like. Males rapping with females just make bigger fan bases, make bigger views. I feel like people like watching that more when males is rapping with females. So I work with a lot of the females that's going up right now. I ain't gonna lie. Who you feel like is nice? Call out like <coughs> who you feel like nice? Um, I saw Kenzo doing. I think she bugging right now. Mm-hmm. Young Devin that was t- texting me about okay. doing Locking a track in. too. Yeah, that's okay. my son. She be bugging too. Okay, and what do you feel like makes you stand out out the group? I don't know. You gotta know. Like, come on. Like, what do you feel like you do differently from everybody else? Like, I feel name? like the way I rap is more different than both of my, like, than I was and my son Doc. Okay. Like, people say I rap, like, a little faster, but I say, like, a little more shit. Like, they flow is different than mine. Yeah, they take more pauses than you. Like, yeah. Them. I feel like that's probably what's pointing me out the group more. When people be listening to us and shit. Okay. Are you working on other type of shit? Because you said you still rap the same from when you first came out. 
do you want to like change? Nah, yeah, I be I be in the stool, not singing and shit, but like I be in the stool rapping about other shit though. Like I be trying to slow down shit. I be trying to slow down the way I rap. I be trying to rap about different topics. Yeah, I seen the um, I forget the song name, but the video with the girl mm -hmm. got sampled. No, yeah, that was the lemma. That's called Tell the Truth. Right. So you gonna do more shit like that? Yeah, I mean, I be trying to do more shit like that. And not even shit like that. It'd be more shit that even females could relate to. Mm -hmm. Talking about females. They're gonna talk about girls. More. Like yeah, like it don't even about be just about me with a female. It could be okay. just about them, so they can relate to shit for me. Shit like that. I be okay. trying to do shit like that. Do you feel like you have a girl fan base, or you feel like it's more niggas, or what do you think? Nah, I feel like my fan base is the majority, most likely girls. males. Nah, probably males, but I feel like I, I do have a big female, female. fan base too, cause I I see it for myself. Yeah. Like on like Instagram and shit. Yeah, I think she and Nikki definitely helped all of that. Yeah, I do got a big female fan base. I feel like the male fan base is bigger though. I ain't gonna lie. It's mad male though. It's mad little kids and shit. Yeah. Mad little boys. I mean, yeah. And it'd be like 18, 19 type shit. Yeah. So it's like all in, all of that all together. <coughs> so when you drop Tell the Truth and the lead dropped that same week and he also did a Nelly sample. Do you feel like that was a coincidence or you feel like niggas be watching New York artists and... What you think? I don't know. That was crazy. You ain't know that? You saw that, though. I saw it. Somebody showed me it. You thought nothing of it? I ain't care. I mean, I ain't, I ain't really think of it. It is crazy, though. Like, <laughs> like damn, I just did some Nelly shit, and then a right. few later, he, just, he did that. It was I'm literally, like, nah, like, I wow. think, the same week or the week after. One of them. Nah, yeah, I think I was thinking about it. Like, nah, that's crazy. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, nah, why he did that? Have you... um? Mm -hmm. Any like out of town artists reach out to you? Like, is he somebody that be in stories or anybody like um, from out of town that be hitting y'all up or hit you? Um, I can't really think of none right now. I had, but it be people like watching name, my though. stories and shit though. Watching face. Yeah, but <laughs> a lot of people don't be texting me though. They don't hit you. Yeah, but I Do be you seeing think people. They're view. shy or scared or what? Do you I think? don't know. Like, I don't know what it be. Certain people just don't text artists. They probably feel like I'm not going to answer. I don't know. Okay. But you're not Hollywood. You would answer. For me, certain people. Certain people? <laughs> okay. So, like, like, one thing I do like about y'all, though, is, like, I don't know if there's ever any issues in the group, but, like, y'all never take it to social media. Yeah. So, do y'all talk about everything under wraps, or it yeah, don't really we, be no issues? Nah, nah, we do go through shit. I mean, we going through shit. It's behind cameras. Yeah. It's not for nobody to know. So, is that a red flag if niggas bring it to the net? Or, like, y'all have that talk before, like, this is done and we good? Nah, we just never think about bringing it to the net. That's kid shit. Why we bringing shit about us? Knowing we going up, there's mad people watching us now. Why are we even doing shit like that? Yeah. Is that annoying that so many people be watching y'all now, or? Nah, it don't even be in a bad way, so it's not annoying. I I like it. I feel like I just look at people as fans. I just feel like I got a lot of fans. You got a lot of fans, so you really have to watch what you do, watch it's what fact. you say. It's a fact. So is that like, do you feel like you're limited? You got to be more private now? Or you feel like you was always a private nigga? Nah, I, I'm used to it. So I don't even know, like... <laughs> So I'm nothing just used really to changed. this. This yeah, my like, my social media life right now is regular to me. I'm cool with it. Like, it's nothing okay. that's stopping me from doing shit. I still be talking about shit on social media. <laughs> okay, yeah. and do you feel like the bitches change up? Are they like? Cause I remember it was a video that went viral. I guess you linked some bitches and they had posted them. So like, do bitches be like trying to post y'all when they with y'all or like y'all not with that? No phones. Like, what's? I only see females that like functions. Okay, so not so like crib type shit. If females always record themselves at functions. Okay, so the thing. I don't take it no way. Okay. Females always show themselves when they out <laughs> doing something. All right, but if y'all indoors though, if y'all in the crib together, she can't post you. Or nah, else? females not about to just say and record me. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not okay. dragging her. And if they do, red flag. She out of there. She out of there. Yeah. No question. And okay. she gotta delete that before she get out of there. <laughs> That's a fact. What if you didn't peep? Like, what if you're sleeping or something and you find out later? I gotta address that. Okay. I gotta get on time. I gotta be mad. You gotta get on time, man. Okay. All right. So, are y'all signed yet? Are you signed yet? Nah, I'm, I'm still independent. Still independent? Yeah, I'm just J Ham. So y'all thugging it. So y'all gonna like keep being independent? What you think? It's a fact. Working right now. Do you want to sign a deal? Do you feel like you need to? 
Nah, not that I need to. It's, it'd be cool to sign a deal. I'm just not rushing it, feel me? Wait yeah. till something really... Something really worth look, it? Yeah, like really. Eh. Um, Are you big on like signing a deal with your niggas, or you feel like y'all could all do your own thing and still be locked in? What do you think? Um, I feel like... I feel like both ways going affect us in a good way. It's going to help us build. So, so uh, either way, it doesn't yeah. matter. So you're not tripping? Like if somebody go before you? Yeah, that's good? a fact. I'm proud of my niggas regardless. Okay. Yeah, y'all seem very supportive of each other. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And, okay, so y'all got the Jersey Dark Drill down pack. Yeah, that's and awesome. And y'all be showing Jersey artists love. Have yeah, they cause reached out? Because y'all ain't work with no Jersey niggas yet. Nah, I... I never heard from none. I huh? can't speak for Nas and my son Doc, but I never heard from like Jersey artists. Never artists'es. heard from them. Not that I recall. Not that I remember. I don't. I don't never really heard from Jersey artists. Do artists'es. you care, or are you just on some like, y'all had it, but we got it, or you don't care? Nah, I feel like they. <laughs> for Jersey, they probably still. I don't, I don't know. Much. Yeah, I don't, I don't hear it either, but like, I still get them their props. They still got their own yeah, shit. That's what I like. Y'all definitely. Because the Jersey shit like, we got is not they Jersey shit. Like mm-hmm. the Jersey we got. Y'all it's dog jersey, yeah, drill. They still doing their own little bop shit. I mean, so. Type shit. All right, so we did a song with. Okay, can you explain this line? I'm trying to lie me, you gotta be rela. Are you never gonna explain that, or like if you know, you know? Fit me. So rela's like your type, like that's you on that, or like booba, and you seem cool though. So like, what's the? That's my son. <laughs> So Rella. you were shooting your shot or you was trolling? Nah, I was trolling. Rather my son too. <laughs> but if he wasn't your son, you on that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she. <geez. laughs> if he wasn't your son, you on that? <laughs> nah, nah. You put me. her in that song. You don't mention nobody. <laughs> like I'm curious. Nah, for me, that shit ain't even about nothing. That shit just funny. And you I was said trolling. Spanish girls are your type, so I'm just asking. Yeah, I was trolling. That's my son. Trolling? Yeah, that's my son right there. Yeah. You know the vibes. Yeah. Do you feel like you would ever get into like a public relationship though? Like seeing them, um, they kind of going um, on, you know? I gotta find. It gotta make sense. Yeah, I gotta. That, that, that female gotta be perfect. I don't perfect. Even, I don't even believe in relationships. Yeah, about to say perfect is like an understatement. Like, that's what I'm saying. Think. I don't believe in relationships. Okay, that's what niggas be saying. All right, so you did a song with you got a, the song with Booba ever came out? Nah. But the song with Prince Raheem came out. Yeah. And then you did a song with V Boogie. Did y'all drop it? Nah. Okay, so why? I just gotta ask. I fuck with them, no shade. You feel me? But like, why you did a song with them? Cause content. Content. Yeah. But like, you're an artist and you're like serious about music, so. I like YouTube. You like YouTube shit? I like watching myself. Okay. So you like you would do like vlogs and stuff? Yeah, and I like helping people. Okay. So, so they didn't drop because they didn't drop it, or like you just was busy, or? Nah, I'm, that's the bros ain't drop it for me. Do you feel like you would do that again, or like you did those three and you done? What do do what music? Yeah, like, like other YouTubers and shit. Yeah, do songs like YouTube. Like I said, for content and shit. For yeah, content. like the booba shit is recent, so. Yeah. It's not but fun and love. Yeah, and y'all cool, but like y'all do mad stuff. Y'all did boxing. Y'all That's what I'm saying. It's shit. not. It ain't. It ain't like we doing the music to really start a whole new rap career. We yeah. doing it just for fun. Just like. for fun. Yeah. Yeah. So when he was boxing, they was like, "Do what? You don't be on TikTok." But like they was talking, about, <laughs> they was talking about your stance when you be fighting. Was you fighting a lot? Nah, that's not up? how I really fight. I was playing with Booba. You was playing with Booba, so you wasn't. Serious. People think I was really fighting. You was just playing. Yeah, bro. Are you a fighter though? Like, did you fight when you was younger? I don't like fighting. You don't like fighting. I'm not a fighter. You shouldn't. (laughs) Like, that's not a thing. All right, so we're gonna play a game. So this game is called (coughs) Trendsetters. So I'm gonna name a topic, and you tell me who you think started that trend. Mm Mhm. Or who you know started that trend. Uh, (laughs) Okay. So um. Riz, like who you feel like you seen was the first person to say Riz? Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't know who started it, but like on like Instagram and shit. Yeah. I was hearing like my son. Wait, who? 
I was fake hearing my son, Mr. Don't Touch That, saying that. Mr. Don't Touch That? I didn't have a million YouTubers on my Instagram, but I was okay. hearing my son saying that a lot. I mean, he okay. was a person saying that a lot, so okay. that's who I was seeing, really seeing saying that, yeah. Okay. And who do you feel like started New York drill music? I feel like that started in... Or some of the first people. Oh. It could be more than one. That's who some of the first people. I feel like that started in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, twenty fourteen. Right, so who, like who's some Brooklyn artists you feel like? Um, who was that like 2014, 2015? It was people like who was that back then? Who was that like back Chef then? G yeah, like Chef and them, right? Yeah, yeah. Chef and them was out back then. I that was like listen to Tutu, but like Tutu <laughs> and them was out back then. But it was niggas like. Curly Sav was dead out back then yes. too. You feel me? Bambino, shit like it was that. niggas like can't be it, but I don't be hearing about Bambino and shit like that no more. That's why I ain't really want to say it, but I ain't gonna lie. But it was, it was, they was rapping though. They was rapping back then. And okay, that's okay. Me. That, that, that nah. was the early New York. That's a fact. That's where stages. the drill was at. That's what everybody was listening to. All right, sample drill. Who was the who you feel like was the first you heard on some sample drill shit, sample beats, but on some drill vibes? Shawnee Ben Laden. Shawnee Ben Laden. Yeah, people don't be showing him that much love. How you heard about him? Some people on my block like him. Like him? Type shit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, he, he, he go viral a lot. Like. Uh-huh. People on my block, yeah. that is him. Free Shawnee. All right, um, the deep, like, Batman voice, like, that dark shit. Who you I feel be like doing that. Um, do you feel like you be doing that? People tell me I do that. To some extent, yeah. But who you feel like was doing it first? Who was the like, first like person? I feel like we heard? started that. I feel like because... Everybody uses their own voice to rap. Okay. So you like you're not faking it, like that's your voice. I didn't say that. I said everybody uses their own voice to rap. So being that we came out and people be saying to be a sweet people, you gotta have a deep voice. Uh, mm-hmm. uh we started that rapping like that, that little demon voice shit. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like it's just a Bronx thing or you feel like it's a sweeper thing? That voice shit? Yeah, the deep voice, the back. Nah, I feel voice. like that's that's our shit. Like I heard a person or two in the Bronx do that. I feel like that's our shit. Okay. We started that. That's fair. All right, Nikki. <laughs> what about Nikki? Who started that trend? Who made that a thing? That's me. That's <laughs> us. Like that's our shit. Like stamp Nikki for me. Nikki is us. Nikki is me. Mm-hmm. Nikki is Sweepers E N T. Type shit. All right, Trisha, who you feel like you heard that from first? I could be a TikToker, a rapper, it doesn't matter. Where did Trish come from? <laughs> Trish is mad old. Mad old. I feel like I heard Trish when I was like 15. Like in the hood type shit. Yeah, I don't know what Trish So it's just from. some New York lingo, basically. Yeah, like Trish, mad old. Okay. Getting sturdy. Who do you feel like started like getting sturdy or the- first to get sturdy or? When did you start seeing that? The Bronx. The Bronx? So the Bronx uh, alone. Yeah. I feel like people was always dancing and shit. Like in Brooklyn, people were dancing and shit. Yeah, barely. But but again, sturdy, I think. I feel like it started like in the Bronx. So do you think it's a difference between getting sturdy and geeking or it's kind of the same thing? Nah, I feel like it's two different things. Okay. I feel like getting sturdy is... Yeah, doing shit mm-hmm. Yeah like Really doing moves But geeking And just bugging out In the video <laughs> Like just wilding Just bugging out Yeah Okay And Jersey Drill Who was some of the first people You heard on some Jersey Drill shit Um My dad don't listen To Jersey people bro My dad don't know A lot of artists From Jersey I know D-Rose Do Jersey Drill Yeah Okay That's really all I know I know about um Bandman But I don't know If that's That's Drill Like he talking about Certain Drill shit Yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the last one. That was the last one. So, how do you feel about the like drill divide? I guess because like it's niggas over here, it's niggas over here. Everybody rapping, but like it's real separate in New York. What you mean? You don't feel like it's separate? I feel like y'all work with everybody though, but I feel like it's certain niggas that y'all wouldn't work with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a lot of haters out here, and it's a lot of people that rap. <laughs> I don't like certain people, so they would induce music with those certain people. And then there's a lot of people that don't like certain people, so that stops them from doing certain. Pe- mu- that stops them from doing music with other people because they cool with like them. Okay. You know what I mean? So where do you draw the line between like beef and business? Like, where do you? 
that's two around. different things. I feel like that gotta stay away from each other. All right, so when it's beef, what did they mention your man's? It has, something had to go down. That don't like, even be beef. That should just be hating and hating shit. Weird shit. Yeah. That should don't even be beef. That should just be people talking. Okay. Should be sad shit. So what's the difference between like a hater and like your op? Like, your op had to do something, but a hater just hating? Or, like, what's the... You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I feel like an op is a person you've been had problems with. Personal problem. And okay. haters are just people that just talk and don't even know you. Okay. So, like, you'll let a hater go by, but you won't let your op go past type shit. Depends. It depends on the situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's that's honest. All right. So, now y'all getting booked up for shows. We mm-hmm. got Boston. We had Jersey. We had... Feel me? How you feeling like now? You got on the plane already. Now you're going state to state. Like, I feel like this up? shit getting active. Is there any place that you want to perform? I want to go to the UK. Yeah? Yeah, I heard we got mad fans out there. Yeah, do you I wanna listen see. to artists over there? Nah, I, I done heard songs about from like, um, what's boy name? Charlie C. That's his Central name. C. Central C. Whatever his name is. Yes. I don't know. I don't listen to him. And I know the boy he beef with too. I heard like a song or two by them, but like I heard like they viral songs, Mm -hmm. but I don't go search them up and listen to them. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So, feel me. So the New Jersey show got rescheduled. We got a new day. Yeah. Right. That's a fact. Okay. I think it's August like 30th or 29th. I forgot. I think it's the 31st. 31st. Yeah. Wow. He got to get his dates. He's too booked and busy. He can't keep up. But, like, feel me, like, I was there at the Jersey show or whatever. I feel like it was a lot going on that day. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, so um, Thankfully, you know, Shaji is okay. But, like, in that situation, though, um, looking back at it, do you feel like there was anything you could have did differently? Or you feel like everybody did all they could type shit? No, nah, I feel like we was all doing our part. Like, yeah. we had the show bugging, yeah. I mean. No, yeah, for sure. She just went left. I mean, a lot. Just one left. Is that like you know you and Shad? I feel like y'all been cool. Did you know, ever notice that, or you didn't like that was the first time that ever happened type shit? What that? Did I ever see something like that before? Yeah. Nah, that was fake. That's why I was so surprised. That shit was crazy. That was whatever. Yeah. And um, looking back at it, do you feel like you would have still performed? So do you feel like in that situation you could have still performed? Nah. Or it was too much on your mind where like Yeah, nah, that shit even... scared me, you know, that shit that shit made me not even wanna perform. That shit was scary, bro. I'm like, nah, I gotta make sure he Gucci. You know? Yeah. Can't do no more performing. And then um how did y'all find out he was okay? Nah, we took him to the hospital. hmm So y'all yeah. went to the hospital after? Yeah, everybody took him to the hospital. So. Okay, okay, okay. And then so you basically set up a locked in a new date. So basically, you're gonna make it up to all those. Fans. Yeah, we gotta make it up to the fans. Yes, cause they was waiting for a mad look. We got something for them. We got something for them. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna turn up in Jersey one more time. To the fact, make it a little bigger show. Mhm. So like, you know, when that being happened, like, you know, like, I feel like being a rapper, it's inevitable. You gonna smoke, you gonna drink, all that shit is regular. But are you like a little bit more cautious now? To like well, about like your health. taking drugs and shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even. T- I don't even. You don't do too much. Yeah, I just smoke. I don't even do no other crazy drugs. I be chilling. Okay, and um, so how do you feel like mentally? How do you keep up with like everything? Do you talk to your family? I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, like- I keep. I keep. I keep my people that I'm comfortable with close. So like be around them a lot like my mm-hmm. mom and shit that just make me more comfortable just being okay. around them like mm-hmm. so your mom is up to date on everything type shit you talk to your mom about everything yeah I ain't gonna lie that's good that's good that y'all have a good relationship so like being a you do music all your friends do music you know what I'm saying do numbers discourage you like, what you mean? Like, if you drop a song and it don't hit a million views or it don't hit, does nah, that bother I be, you? I be overworking myself. I feel like I be stressing myself out because I do be getting tight when I look at certain amount of views and I be like, like, hi, like, why that uh-huh. shit don't got this? Like, this shit was supposed to have this. Yeah. I do be stressing myself out sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely do. So, like, how do you keep peace, I guess, and all that? Do you feel like you just got to keep working or? Like, I'll know? get over it, like. Yeah, it ain't gonna ruin your day, but like. Yeah, I look at it. I'll be tight. Mm-hmm. 
and then I just be like, I just gotta go make some catchy shit. Or I gotta go make some party shit. Or I gotta go make something that they wanna hear. And be like, fuck it, I gotta go make something else. Some better shit. Okay. Okay, and then you going up, watching your friends going up. I'm sure you know you got peers going up. Like, mm-hmm. feel me? So, like, is there any, I don't wanna say mistakes, but is there stuff that you see that you be like, yeah, I'm not doing that? And, like, I know, like, working in my career, like, what to do moving forward? Like, did you learn anything from them, you feel like? No, nah, well, rapping, yeah. I've seen a lot of... It could be in business, too. It don't got to be yeah, just Yeah, rapping. rapping, I've seen a lot of bad, bad, like, deals and stuff. Okay. That's another reason why I'm still independent. Like, <laughs> I know not to just sign anything. Anything. You feel me? I've okay. seen a lot of people angry or shit. But for me, that's one thing I learned. Okay, so what does a bad deal look like? If you see a nigga sign that he's still in the hood or like nah, not money, even. or like what what? Nah, not even. It just so inside what is a bad shit. deal? It be like it don't even be shit that you can really see. It be inside sh- sh- personal shit that oh, it okay. make a deal a bad deal for me. Mm, that people gotcha. a lot of people don't know about. Okay. But I learned about a lot of that shit just rapping, being seeing shit. I learned about a lot of inside deals, a lot of shit like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then um. I feel like, you know, as y'all keep meeting people, I feel like people give y'all advice, people show y'all love and shit. What do you yeah. feel like is some of the worst advice you got? Um, Like, what's some shit somebody tells you and you like, this nigga shot <laughs> no, I, 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 I Person told me to stop rapping about drill months ago. And that was before I even done hit like my second million song, my third million song. Yeah. And after that, I don't know, had like five <laughs> said, different million what? songs. And I'm like, yeah, bro, you chat, really? Yeah. This where I came from. This where this was bringing yeah. me up right now. This is this is your original shit. All right, so then, so how do you feel about blogs right now? Because I feel like blogs be catching y'all every day, all the time. Do you like blogs? Do you don't care for that shit? Or like what? I like blogs because I feel like, they keep like you, you said, it shows people what we do with our daily day basis. A lot of people think, Bad of us, and then blogs just show, and like, we be having fun, be chilling and shit. Yeah. You Do you feel like it's some stuff that they shouldn't post, or what you think? <clears throat> um, nah, not really, cause then again, there's vloggers that's respectful that they'll ask you about certain parts, like yo, I'm gonna block this out. Like mm-hmm. if something happens while they're recording, mm-hmm. like they'll tell you, like yo, I'm gonna block this out. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like. I work with respectful vloggers, so. Okay. Because, like, um, you know, at the show, we had to, like, stop mad people from recording. But, like, yeah, some vlogs those be, like, fans day. and shit. Yeah, it be, like, weird fans and shit that don't care about nothing. So, they just still. They still recording. Those don't be vloggers. I'll be around. Yeah. So, the vloggers that still posted, do you, like, not fuck with them? or do you I don't really like, know personally who was posting those videos. Yeah, I, like I just them are anonymous. Yeah, yeah, I just see shit like that on big pages like please don't like or shit like that. Uh-huh. I don't see who personally who got this video out. How the fuck can you get this video out? I mean mm. Do you care you don't care to like look for those people, right? Because some people nah, be really mad when they post their business. It'd it'd be me looking through <laughs> five hundred people. Yeah. And mad people will see it. Okay. Never gonna find them. All right. And then, um, so what are you working on right now? What's next? What should we look forward to this year? Just more, more, a little more dolos and a little more singles and more videos. I ain't gonna lie. We got more group work coming too. And like I said earlier, the tape coming. Tape is definitely coming. <coughs> do you feel like you're gonna do a part three to Nikki and get somebody in the remix? Or are you kind of like done with that song? Nah, it's gonna be a part three. You really gonna do a part three? Oh, so you're gonna put somebody on it, or you're just gonna keep? That's know. a dolly. That's you. This shit gotta be different. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm not even about to do some OD drill shit on Nikki Part Three. Okay, <clears throat> you gonna switch it up a little bit? Okay, all right, back. <laughs>